Hi, John Marshall, the Drillmaster. This is a uh, Color Guard performance, Civil Air Patrol, from 2010. So let us have a look. So apparently this was first place. Don't know if it's, I guess it might be national first place, but let's go back to there. Elbows. Hand, got a curved wrist, left rifle guard, and you're doing this. It, that's not the position. This is with a, a tucked elbow. Goes for you, right rifle guard, tucked elbow. <clears throat> now, for those of you wondering why the, uh, the color bearers don't have uh, a belt, a white belt like the guards do, that's because... This harkens back to the tradition of uh, when the first Air Force first started, and it was kind of it was similar for the Army as well. We we took a lot of Army aspects into our service when we first separated as a service. Uh, military police and for the Air Force, Air Police were the ones who performed all the color guards, and so uh, they all had sidearms. And so this is called a pistol belt. Well, it might not be a pistol belt, but at least historically, it was called a pistol belt, and the guards would have pistols. They'd have a sidearm there. But since the uh, the color bearers weren't armed, they would take the pistol belt off and put on the colors harness. So this is the, the typical historic version of the Air Force color guard that the Civil Air Patrol uses, and I appreciate that. I, I think that's kind of nice. Uh, Jay Rossi also can can do this as well. So belts on the guards and then colors harnesses for the bearers. And it looks like you have three by five flags. So this is from 2010, I get it. But this is for uh, today's teams as they, uh, as they proceed. So uh, uh, it should be three by four flags and eight foot staffs and it looks like those are eight foot staffs so um, both guards go into right shoulder so the air force standard is at the outside shoulder army is the only service that goes to right shoulder for both the guards everybody else goes to the outside shoulder when the civil air patrol manual was written for drill and ceremonies i highly suggested not publishing but it was anyway. So, Civil Air Patrol gives you a choice of going, having both guards at right shoulder or going to the outside shoulder. So, this is not Air Force technique or, uh, uh, yeah, it's not Air Force technique to go to uh, have both guards at right shoulder. So, this also doesn't exist. So one of the th and another thing for for Civil Air Patrol, which is I'm I'm getting ready to judge a, a color guard competition. One of the things that is extraordinarily annoying is that there are separate commands that are given for color guard, and I just have to bite my tongue the whole time because there's a command given for the rifles, there's a command given for the color bearers, and that's not the case. That has no basis in reality whatsoever. So you don't give the, the guards right shoulder and then march in with the, uh, the colors at trail. Everybody's at trail or the guards can be at port if you're going to uh, uh, do something else with the, the, the colors later on. But yeah, right shoulder, it, it, the commands aren't separate. I'll just put it that way. I'll, I'll, I'll leave it at that. color guards form and march at close interval only and you're executing a wheel movement with the rotation in the center that's not authorized the rotation point is at either of the guards depending on the direction that you're going you're fish pulling here which is really easy to do. Fish polling means that now you can see the, the bottom of the staff, the ferrule is brought back in. So the fish polling means that the, the, the ferrule, the, the lower, that, that silver portion, 
the silver portion of the the bottom of the staff that's a ferrule that's the lower ferrule uh, fish poling means that the ferrule is pointing out and the the top of the flag or the top of the flag staff this is the upper ferrule this is the spade the uh, the spade is gradually you know making its way backwards so it's just like you're carrying a fish pole huck fin going down to the watering hole that's not a salute for colors that what is that when do we use that guide on out of formation I'm going to watch the not bad on the technique for uh, for present that's a flared hand though what what are you doing with a flared hand the, the the flared hand thing is just that's another thing that just really is where does that come from what are you what are you doing so whether you have both your hands flared forward like this or flared at even at port and all that, stop it please grab and then if you're going to flare the hand the the traditional grip for for colors or for yeah for colors for air force because we don't really have armed flights is is going to be wrapping the fingers but the the air force pamphlet um for a long time has used the the marine corps technique of the flared right hand but wrap the left hand and then this left hand is too high But this is not a color salute. So attention isn't the command used for the Air Force. It's tench hut. So non non standard uniform. Well, no uniformity of technique there for going to. Uh, Yeah, see, that's what I meant by by different commands for it's color guard tench hut port arms. This is carry colors. This isn't and uh, uh, CAP bearer. You're looking down, which comes from both hands on the staff you need to have your left hand at the harness socket and then as you're bringing the staff over then you can meet that without looking down it's much much easier but these hands together this is really a poor grip uh, uh, but uh, both hands on the staff definitely don't want to do that so uh, uh, yeah that's the command is carry colors and not port arms P port arms is totally different for actually you entered a trail which is pretty close to port for colors so the dip forward is one count and uh, so you you practiced a little bit but you didn't work on the uniformity of technique present arms is going to be is going to have the the rifle four inches away from uh, an average man's fist is about four inches four inches from the torso that's present arms and so and i get it the the two commands for every single movement I, I understand but i'm still going to tell you the command was carry colors supposed to be carry colors not order arms and then give right shoulder arms half left about harch now for those of you also going oh harch what are you talking about that's the way the air force does it i don't want to hear it from any other service i've been there done that we call it harch 
So it's half left about harch, not half left about step, 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 harch. So your mark time step here, you're slamming your, your feet into the, the marching surface and your mark time step is much, much too high. Your, your, the toe is probably going to come off, uh, up off the marching surface about a, maybe an inch and a half. It's the ball of your foot that is supposed to come up four inches. Why the ball of the foot? I have no idea. It's much easier to identify the toe or the heel or both. And you should be at close interval the whole time. So they're maintaining a pretty decent, uh, pretty decent, whoa, um, oh man, spacing. Right about harch. And that's not a right about. A right about has the rotation point on the guard. Now, you, you see the, the first place here, there's a there's a couple of things that could have happened. Either the judges don't know what they're seeing and they don't know how to take a visual performance and assign a score to that, assign a, a, a number, or all the other, there were, there were no other color guards, so they got first. That, so that's the second possibility. The third possibility is the other color guards really didn't do as good of a job, not even close, so everything's relative. Just because a team gets first place on this day at this hour doesn't necessarily mean they always would. So you're, you're leaving your team to march in place much too long. you're calling cadence so if you have to call cadence then you need more practice and really you don't need to call cadence arm swing isn't too uh, isn't too bad now one of the ways Boy, the stomping is so. And and U.S. color bearer, you keep going back and forth like this. Both of the colors need to be dipped forward, slightly forward at an angle. How how what is a slight measurement? I don't know. But as long as they're both equal, which they aren't, because the CAP color bearer is uh, carrying vertical. As long as they're, the angle forward is matching, then you can't say anything. It could be, you could do it at present. You could make an argument that that's slight. And all right, it probably wouldn't work. But, uh, you know, maybe four, six inches from your nose, and that's fine. But I wanted to call, uh, so I wanted to call attention to calling the commands. So there's a couple of different ways. You can emphasize the first word. So let's take the unbelievably ridiculous command of half right about or half left about. So it's half right, ab half right about harch. So you could emphasize the first word, half right about harch, and then start into it. Or you could say half right about harch. So just before the right foot hits, half right about harch and then go into your turn there so half right about harch or half right about harch either way you want to call it those are just my suggestions left about harch not left about it's left about Harch. And again, the rotation has to be at the guard, not in the center.
I don't understand why you're calling cadence. The team is in step and doing just fine. It Eyes right is called on the right foot. Why are you saluting, Judge? It's not for you. And, and ready front is called on the left foot. No, 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 no. No about face. Color guards do not execute about face or to the rear. End of story. It doesn't matter if you have equipment in your hands or not. Those two things you do not do. It doesn't matter. I know you are You said fall out. Everybody is used to either a step back and an about face or an about face. There's no set method to a fall out. None whatsoever. You just walk away from the for formation. Now, if your unit wants to create one for the flight or the platoon, fine, do that, but never on colors. You just walk away, and you should have gone to order instead of just falling out at carry. Not a stellar performance. Interest. I'd love to see the other performances to see how you got first place. All right, so here's another critique for you, Civil Air Patrol people. Thank you.